guys today I'm gonna to be showing you how to grow your hair longer and faster naturally at home how I grew my hair out really fast and how you can too how to have really healthy long beautiful hair that you've always wanted I am not a professional but I did go to hair school and I know a few things about hair and I also worked at a hair salon so I definitely, I'm not doing hair right now, but I know a few things that are helpful to your hair. So I'm definitely not telling you what to do and not to do with your hair, but these are just things that have worked for me. So you want to grow your hair out longer and faster, but you just don't know how, or you've tried literally everything, but nothing works. Trust me, you guys, I have been there. I used to have like a legit mullet, and this is not my natural hair color. I used to have like, really dark hair my natural color is like medium brown hair but i've had blonde hair for a couple years and you probably know that bleaching your hair and coloring it can damage your hair so if you are trying to grow your hair out and you just don't know where to start i am gonna show you things that i do to grow my hair out really fast things that i literally had to stop doing to grow my hair out really fast and things that I think are gonna really be beneficial to you and also show you like the products that I use to help me have really healthy and long hair. So I really hope you guys find this video helpful and it helps you grow your hair out because like I said, a couple years ago, I literally had a mullet. Like my hair was so damaged and it was really short. It was like, I think right here, like this. And it was just literally, I was trying everything to grow my hair out. I've tried like, outrageous things like mayo putting mayo in my hair which is so disgusting but like that's what the internet told me to do so i tried it and the only thing it did it made my hair shiny but it did not make my hair grow like people had said it would so i just gave up on trying those kind of things like putting olive oil in my hair or anything like that so definitely don't recommend it i mean it gives you shiny hair but it definitely doesn't grow your hair overnight so before i show you guys the products that i use on my hair and just kind of like my hair care routine i want to tell you guys like what to what you should do stop doing first and the habits that you should quit in order to have really healthy and long hair i literally used to be obsessed with straightening my hair and oh my gosh like i seriously how many times i straightened my hair and just like one time on the same strand was insane and it completely just damaged my hair and i fried it so it was just the worst thing that you can do for your hair is damage it with heat so the one thing that i just had to do and my friend tiffany who works at a hair salon with me she told me to stop too and as soon as i did this like i see i saw such major improvement in my hair like straightening it is literally just gonna kill your hair so just stop and um you're gonna see major improvement as soon as i stopped doing that like my hair just started dramatically changing just kind of got its life back if that makes sense it just started being a lot healthier and not so dull looking so heat is the number one thing that will completely damage your hair so i definitely recommend you stop doing that you can use your blow dryer on like special occasions i stopped using heat on my hair completely so i just like air dry my hair and that's going to be a lot healthier for your hair than using any kind of heat on it i do just like air dry your hair or use some um, the really low heat or the cool air on your um what's it called on your blow dryer <laughs> so that's gonna help your hair a lot and then on to some of the things that i use whenever you get out of the shower try not to brush your hair because your hair is so kind of gentle and brittle at that point try to wait a little bit until it dries a little bit i like to just like air dry my hair but if you must um if you must use a brush on it just use the wet comb brush whatever it's called and um just start from the bottom and work your way up never do it from here and just like because that's going to damage a lot of a lot of your hair up here especially when it's wet just start from the top and work your way up like working very gentle with your hair and kind of just combing it through and then it's just gonna be a lot healthier for your hair i'll try to link this brush down below for you guys because it's literally my favorite it just makes my hair feel so smooth I could do this all day also this is like another hack massaging your hair with this brush is literally gonna help like stimulate your hair follicles so 
so I guess it's proven to help your hair grow but it also feels good so I guess you can just keep doing this all day long and it will help also another thing that I've tried was putting my head upside down like you know flipping it down like that and then like brushing it because I guess that really stimulates your scalp and helps your hair grow that's something that i tried like back in high school because i was super desperate so i guess you could try that too and then onto some other things that have i think have helped me because i've been taking these for a few years now and that's these nature's bounty extra strength hair skin and nail vitamins they have argan oil in them and they have 5000 mcg of biotin in them so definitely recommend these i think i take yeah you take three of them so i definitely recommend taking them um after you eat or like after dinner or something because i feel like they make you kind of feel weird like taking three of them in an empty stomach just don't do that and drink lots of water because they make you really thirsty so these i think work really well definitely recommend them and then onto some other products this is kind of like my hair care routine so i use this it's by sexy hair and it's called love oil i actually got this um, from my beauty school and it smells really good it makes your hair really shiny and soft and it's just a moisturizing oil i use this like when i get out of the shower or on wet or dry hair it doesn't really matter and it just it's really good for your hair i don't know if it helps it grow but it's just something that's like really makes your hair really soft healthy and it doesn't make your hair frizzy at all and just i don't know i like it and it's, it's like all natural it doesn't have anything bad in it so i think that helps don't put any bad things in your hair and then the biggest thing is a couple times a week or once a week if you have time for about 30 minutes i definitely recommend putting a deep conditioning treatment in your hair especially if you have blonde hair or color treated hair this is going to be major for you to have healthy and long hair and i use this smoothing coconut oil on mine because coconut oil is amazing for your hair and also i started doing this back in high school but i put like a plastic bag on my hair and to really keep the moisture in and really really deep condition your like scalp and your hair and kind of get everything in there the heat really helps so i definitely recommend that you know when you go to the salon and they put you under the heat thing kind of like that putting a plastic bag in your head kind of the same thing i guess so try that and it really is going to help your hair when your hair is healthy that's when it grows so really the key to this to having long healthy hair is by starting kind of from your hair follicles and making everything really healthy in your scalp making sure your hair can breathe grow and yeah that's i guess the secret and then onto my shampoo and conditioners i absolutely love like these um the, so this is the deeply restoring plus peroxy recovery oil shampoo and these are like the organics i've been using these for a few years and at my absolute favorite shampoo and conditioner they're just really really good for your hair they don't have anything bad in them and i really recommend not using like any of the ones that have like really bad ingredients in them just like sometimes spending a little bit more on these is better than buying like the really cheap shampoo and conditioner so i definitely recommend these so the deeply restoring peroxy recovery oil and conditioner and this one is just the shampoo so the organics brand is my favorite because it's all natural ingredients in them and they all smell amazing all the other ones that they have are also really good for your hair and keep it really healthy and these are actually newer ones that i'm trying i usually get like the blue blue ones i think they're like the moroccan oil or something and those are really good but any brand by the by the organics is really really good and it's just going to keep your hair really healthy and help it grow so definitely recommend these so another hack to have really long hair to grow your hair longer is to not wash your hair every single day i know this is so hard because you literally you have to train your hair i am a mom so for me like i used to wash my hair every day and it kind of really dried it out and you're washing all the natural oils out of your hair i actually learned this in beauty school so when you wash your hair too much it really washes out all the natural oils like in your scalp especially to help your hair grow 
and um, when you stop washing every day it lets the oils kind of build in there so you really have to stop washing your hair every single day and how I trained my hair to not wash it every single day was really like getting dry shampoo and living on dry shampoo. Now that I'm a stay-at-home mom, I literally like swear by these. I really like the Pantene Pro-V um, dry shampoo, the little bottle ones. And then I love the Herbal Essence Bio Renew. And this one is 0% paraben gluten and colorants. And this one is Arabica Coffee Fruit. This one is literally my absolute favorite i am obsessed with it it's almost out and i just i love it so much it smells so good and i just i swear by this literally every single day that i don't wash my hair seriously if you stop washing your hair every single day and stop using heat on it you're gonna see such a major improvement in your hair not only how healthy it is but also how how much it's gonna start growing it's gonna help it dramatically just don't use a lot of heat on it and then when it comes to coloring your hair honestly I color my hair every probably like three months and I get the full foil highlights which is extremely damaging to your hair and I also um, I get like the glaze the highlights and all that and then I get the shadow roots so if you want to break like in between salon visits definitely get the shadow root like i do because it keeps the top a lot more natural and doesn't give it like that streaky like really harsh line whenever it grows out so that's how i'm able to keep my hair a lot healthier and not have to go to the salon literally, literally every single month to get it done so it's actually pretty healthy i mean Right now it's like nighttime and I haven't done anything with it today, but it feels really soft and feels really healthy. And I actually, after having a baby, my hair, it started falling out a little bit. And I'll show you guys like the little pieces that I have. These are my all my baby hairs, but they're actually really long now. And like I said, I haven't done anything besides what I just mentioned to you guys. So I had a baby 19 months ago and my hair, like these ones were literally like, they all fell out so I mean it's pretty long now I always get questions on my Instagram on how my hair is so long and after having a baby how it didn't all fall out because I know a lot of my mom friends their hair fell out and is so brittle and thin but honestly I haven't done anything besides what I've mentioned to you guys so just please take care of your hair and really stop using heat on it and just deep condition it once or twice a week for about 30 minutes put a plastic bag on your hair and uh, your hair is going to dramatically change and it's going to start growing use some really good natural products spend a little bit more in like shampoo and conditioner in order to really help your hair be healthy and grow and not coat it with a bunch of like really bad ingredients because a lot of cheaper shampoos and conditioners have that so definitely invest in really good shampoos and conditioners get some really good vitamins for hair skin and nails and you're gonna definitely see a major improvement in how to how your hair is growing and how healthy it is so yeah that's basically all i do for growing out my hair and how i grew my hair out really long and healthy and also how i keep my blonde hair healthy i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you got some great tips on how to grow your hair out longer and faster i definitely don't want to sugarcoat it for you guys and tell you that you're gonna grow your hair like magically overnight like a lot of other people claim that your hair will do because i know that's not realistic you honestly cannot grow your hair like a bunch of inches overnight and i wish i could do that i wish everybody could do that but unfortunately we can't you have to really nurture your hair and have a lot of patience just start taking those steps that i mentioned and your hair is going to start growing and just don't obsess over it because honestly like i used to obsess over my hair growing and like every day i would check i'm like oh did it grow did it grow but like as soon as you stop obsessing over your hair being growing every two seconds you're gonna actually see it grow every single week it's gonna get longer and longer so just take those steps that i mentioned and really take great care of your hair get some good products get a better hairbrush stop using heat on it and you're gonna see major improvement in your hair health and the length so yeah i hope this video was helpful for you guys 
please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you found it helpful i will link all the products and things i mentioned down below for you guys if you're interested in getting them and yeah i hope these tips help you let me know if you have done any of these things or if you're planning on doing any of these things and i really hope that they're helpful for you but yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.